All right, um, now I'm going to go through a quick, uh, quick demo of how my functions work and how, how to work with them. Um, so uh, I'm actually using, uh, my OS is uh, Ubuntu. Um, and I use a different graphical user interface uh, that, than most people do uh, for using R. A lot of people use R Studio. Um, Nevertheless, uh, the, all the functions that I'll be using should work in any graphical user interface. Uh, it just might look a little bit different on my screen than on yours, uh, just based on my, the, how you know my user interface looks. But yeah, anyways, let's get started. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is open a bar. Um, and now what I need to do is uh, change directories. Uh, to the one that I created, to, or the one that that holds all the uh, R files that are on my Bitbucket page. So to do this, uh, I need to, well first we can check our working directory. So I'm in my home um, directory, Jeffrey. Uh, and so I'm going to change uh, to where I have all my files, which is in documents, oh, no it's not. Repos project LA SVD um, and to check that I'm in my in the right directory, uh, the one containing all the files, I'm going to list the files in this directory. Uh, and we and I see that I have um, all the files. Cool. So that means that I'm in the right directory. Um, second thing that I'm going to do is, uh, so I'm just going to, for this video, I'm just going to show how my SVD function works, and then the next video I'll show you how uh, the compression um, uh, function works. So for this, uh, for this one, I think that if I source, actually I'm not sure if this will work, but if I source svd.r, uh, Oh, um, that cre that when I source that, it will actually hold on. Um, all right, so SVD dot R creates a function capital SVD. So when I source it into R, when I do that, now I created my, I, I, uh, in this in this R environment, I have a function, uh, for able, I'm able to use my function, SVD, capital SVD. Um, yeah, so you'll see that uh, when I just look at SVD, when I look at the source code by just writing the function name, um, it's exactly the same as as in here. All right, cool. So now, now I have my um, uh, my SVD function, and then uh, and and when I call this function, it'll it'll source these three uh, functions that I also wrote, which in turn will source all the other functions that I wrote. Uh, so basically, when you call SVD, everything should be sourced. Um, all right, so I'm going to make a simple matrix to. Uh, to kind of demonstrate this, so um, um, yeah, just bear with me here. Uh, so yeah, basically the syn oops didn't even need to say this. All right, so basically yeah, the syntax is uh, right here. It's just a concatenation of a of a, of a bunch of values, um, and then I want the matrix to have two rows, and then I'm gonna list the these uh, these numbers by row um, so yeah that's how that's how to quickly create a matrix um, so yeah um, now if we're interested in looking at the SVD of this matrix we just call the function uh, and that's that's what we get um, so let's save this as uh, s um, u sigma v. So I think, if I recall correctly, 
uh, S, the first, oh yeah, yeah. so, um, so this, this, this S is an array, um, with its first element being U, uh, its second element being sigma, its third element being V, so to call the first element of array, you would use a double bracket, um, second element of array, double bracket, okay, cool, um, Oh, and another thing to, that I want to check is to make sure that when I called that SVD function that it sourced all my other files. So another one of my files was IG, and it sourced it. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so we have our S. Uh, so S1, um, and this, this, uh, this operator here is just the matrix uh, multiplication, uh, times S2 times a transpose, which is another function that I wrote, of S3 should be equal to X, which it is. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's the basic uh, SVD calculation. Um, actually, I'm kind of interested to see what happens uh, when I try to take the eigenvalues of X. Uh, hopefully it doesn't break on me. Uh, yep, broke on me. All right, well, I guess I need to fix that. Uh, hmm. Oh, uh, well, I guess it did what it was supposed to. Um, let's see. All right, uh, yeah, let's play with that matrix instead. Um, yeah, so when I try to take the eigenvalues using my eig, function. Uh, it didn't work and I thought that was because my function was broken, but when I use a built-in R function, which is eigen, that's a built-in R function, um, on that same matrix it didn't work as well and that's because it's a non-square matrix. Um, so, uh, so I guess it, 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 uh, it's actually not broken. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's create a square matrix by multiplying its trans the transpose of X with itself. Uh, let's call this matrix Y. So transpose X matrix multiplication with itself. Um, is equal to Y. All right. Now we can use my the function that I wrote the I function um, on Y. And there we go. So the first. Um, now let's call this uh, let's call this e. Uh, yeah, so the first element of this array is the eigenvalues, and the second element of this array is the eigen um, vectors. So uh, so let's look at e one. These are the eigenvalues. Um, that so we see that the first eigenvalue is two. Um, the second one is uh, 4.9 to the times 10 to the negative 32, 32nd. So I think this is uh, zero, um, approximately. Just a floating point error. Um, and then the third one is one. All right. Uh, and then looking at the second element of the E array, um, is a it's a matrix so if we want to call the first column we use comma one uh, and this is the eigenvector that corresponds with the first eigenvalue um, which is two um, yeah so uh, so the you know you might be kind of taking it on faith that all these are correct um, right now but R also has built-in uh, eigenvalue functions, um, so I can I can use those to check to make sure my algorithms are all uh, running properly. Uh, so we have our matrix Y. Um, now let's take the eigen, which is the built-in R function um, of this uh, matrix. So E2. Uh, all right. So we see that the eigenvalues are two, one, and zero. And the eigenvectors are the same, um, but just note that uh, 
that yeah so it's two one zero mine goes two zero one um, uh, so my zero eigenvector is this second column and in their zero eigenvector is their third column um, so yeah it seems that you know my I, my algorithm to compute eigenvectors and to compute eigenvalues uh, seems to be working properly um, <clears throat> yeah the main issue is that uh, is that when I try to use this on an on a image file which is gonna be somewhere around um, well, the image file that I use is uh, 280 by 280 matrix. So uh, to, to to look at my to look at my uh, eig function again, um, qr algorithm is probably the one. Yeah. So um, when I'm do using a 280 by 280 uh, matrix, this criteria right here, while e is greater than um, some very small value, <laughs> uh, you know, keep iterating. Um, and E is the sum of a new, uh, it's, it's, uh, it uses QR to come up with, uh, with a new matrix and it takes the diagonal of that, this current iteration minus the diag, the sum of the diagonal or minus the diagonal of the last iteration. It squares that all those values and then takes a sum of them. And so while that total value is greater than some minute value, um, you know, keep iterating. And so for when when I'm dealing with a with a matrix that's 280 by 280, the diagonal is 200. It's a vector of length 280. Um, and so I think that this criteria becomes very hard to hit, um, and it just keeps iterating for a while. Uh, and so my these value, this function doesn't scale well currently. I'm going to probably work over that over the break. But yeah. So anyways. Um, so yeah, that's that's these are my these are my functions that I wrote for the SVD. Um, but to, to 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 for the image compression, I'm going to be using the built-in functions because they uh, they scale better. But yeah, that's it for this video.